Hey you guys, today is an exciting day. Uh, we are headed to Nashville, Tennessee. Tonight the Nashville Predators are taking on the Winnipeg Jets, but that's not what this video is about. No, you guys suggested in the comments of the last video that we do a review of the hot chicken location in Bridgestone Arena. So tonight, you guys are gonna get a food review. I've been to several of the hot chicken locations all around downtown Nashville, and I'm gonna see how this hot chicken in the arena compares to even a place like Hattie B's, which sits right across the street from the arena. So should you eat your hot chicken before the game or at the game? Let's do this thing, let's check it out. Before we continue on in the video, if you guys don't mind hitting that like button, that helps push this video out into the public domain. And if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, if you're not already subscribed, that would mean so much to me. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year and we're climbing slowly, 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 but the only way we can keep going up is if you hit that subscribe button. Also, comment down below what food places in Bridgestone Arena you would love to see reviewed or in Nashville in general for before game meals. Such a beautiful city. Really pretty. We are here, but we are here early. So the crowds are not big and it is glorious. I love it. Going to get some hot chicken. Here's the Sobro entrance. You're gonna find the hot chicken right near here. And in fact, see we come right here. We're gonna walk past Barrel House, we'll walk past the barbecue place and we should be there. Here we are, section 110. And uh, we got the hot chicken. All right, so you order at these kiosks. And I'm gonna go to food. And we can get a mashed potato bowl, chicken and waffle sandwich, hot chicken fries, ham breaded chicken tenders, national chicken sandwich, hot chicken mac and cheese, and you have different sides, and a hot chicken helmet, interesting. We're not gonna get the helmet, because I think you're probably paying for most of the helmet there. Um, we're gonna go with the hand breaded tenders, I think, because it appears it comes with biscuits, fries, and the tenders. We're actually, I can't do hot, so we're gonna go with the original, and then that mac and cheese looks really small, so we're gonna go with fries. And that's what we're gonna go with, so let's try that out. All right, and it's kind of expensive, um, so keep that in mind. That's pretty pricey. Okay, here's the result. We have some cornbread, some french fries, and chicken. Like I said, I don't do super hot stuff, so this is just the mild, but this will give you a good sense. I normally just get like the mild original, so let's, uh, and we're out of honey mustard, which is what I normally do. So let's, let's test this out. All right, first thoughts on it. Pretty good, way better than I expected. So I will say this, this is not as good as like Hattie B's, Prince's, uh, Party Bell, or anything like that. So I always like that, but what this is, is this is actually, you know, like very suitable. One of the better arena meals I've ever had. Cause the chicken actually has like flavor. It's not just like a fried tender, like I kind of expected. It's like a legitimate, like natural hot chicken style tender. So that's kind of cool. Um, and the steak fries, like, these are like steak fries, they're, they're not bad. As you can tell, the cornbread is incredibly crumbly, but super sweet and actually really, really good. I like this cornbread a lot. All right, we just polished it off. All right, here's my review of this chicken. If you want like really top notch chicken, just go to a place and sit down. But if you need like a quick, you know, quick meal before a game and you want to be filled, I never am filled up filled up by stadium food. This just filled me up. Alright, this is me like 45 minutes later. I'm still hungry, so didn't quite fill me up. There's nothing in the arena does so I don't know if that's intentional. Maybe it's just the atmosphere and the adrenaline, but that was a lie that I just said. I'm not super cool. That cornbread was so underrated, I could eat like eight of those. But honestly, that is a great meal in this arena. I would definitely get that again. And when I come here and need to eat another meal, just quick, walking in late, that will be the place, as of right now, that I I will go. I would love to try the spicier one if I like spicy things, but it's a great meal. You should definitely come into a game and try out that hot chicken, especially if you're in a rush and don't have time to go sit down somewhere before a game, or you just want to be in the arena really early. Uh, so you can really get the full game day experience. Here's a note, if you get to the game somewhat late, 
it looks like the line gets backed up, so don't do that. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. It always means so much to me whenever you watch these videos. Comment down below if you have any video suggestions in the future on what you want to see and the natural predators or NHL experience. See you next time. Have a great day.